Hey everyone, this is Dantas Mike here for DeucesCrack.com. Today we're going to be covering a tournament concept known as M. So in this video, we're going to define the M ratio and we're going to look at some examples, talk about some deviation from the strategy. So what is M, or as I called it, or I like to call it actually, the M ratio? Uh, just to start off with a simple definition, uh, it's a ratio of a player's chip stack to the cost of one round of a tournament. So comparing how many chips I have in front of me to the uh, cost of one round of a tournament. Um, the formula is uh, stack, so my player's stack, divided by the antes plus the blinds. So to do a, a quick example here, we've got packet jacks on the button. A couple of numbers pop up here. We see we're playing 100-200 with a 25 chip ante, and there is 2,500 in our stack. So that would mean our stack is 2,500. The antes, two, 25 times 9 is 225, and the blinds are 100 and 200, which is 300. So it's 2,500 over 225 plus 300. Our M is 4.76. A quick note on mental math here. Uh, the easy way to do this rather than getting to 4.76 would be to say 2,500 over 500 is 5. So 2,500 over 525 is a little less than 5. It's not an exact science. And we're going to talk a little bit about deviating from it later on in this short video. Um, but the most important question on everyone's mind right now is, what does this mean? Um, well, it means a lot of things. First off, just a little history of the concept. It was developed by a poker player named Paul McGrill uh, and written at great length uh, by Dan Harrington and Harrington on Hold'em, and it really kind of took off. And what this number does is it, it lets you know what stage of a tournament you're in uh, based on your, your chip stack and the size of the blinds. Uh, I think early on we're all pretty comfortable when we're given 5,000, 10,000 chips and the blinds are 2550 just playing poker. But suddenly, especially in a tournament with much worse structure, uh, when it's 500 to 1,000 and we've got 8,500 chips in front of us, uh, but you know the antes are such and such, we want to know how important it is that we make a move because sitting and waiting for aces is not going to be effective if my M is 2 and I'm going to be busted in 3 hands. Now, when do I make the decision? What does my M need to be? That's obviously the next logical question. And that's where this uh, you know, 5 tiers come into play here. Uh, the top and, and uh, best one, obviously, would be M greater than 20. Uh, now it could be 19. The thing about these these bounds is it's they're they're somewhat specific, but again, don't freak out if you're at 19.8. Uh, it doesn't mean you can't play like you're at 20. Um, but these are just you know rough general guidelines here. But uh, greater than 20, you've got a lot of play. This is when you want to be a big aggressive stack and be raising, stealing the blinds, making extended steals, really keeping your foot on the gas. If someone re-raises you, it's not going to cost you a ton, but often they're going to be risking their tournament life. Um, and if you do lose a hand, even a decent hand, decent sized pot, you're still going to have some play left in you. Now, that may knock you down to the second tier, which is between 10 and 20. Um, you still want to play a little bit loose, be stealing blinds and be playing aggressive, but calling re-raises against other deep stacks with small pocket pairs or suited connectors or even just defending with those hands is really going to lose a lot of value. Your implied odds are down. So you don't want to get in too much of a trap of raising and calling a 3-bet uh, and trying to stack an opponent off, especially uh, you know for your tournament life. The third tier, uh, between 6 and 10, a lot of your ability to re-steal is, is kind of gone. Uh, you still want to play aggressively, uh, but y you don't have as much room to play and you know make other moves. There's a lot more patience, but it's aggressive patience. You want to be still picking your spots and trying to chip up here because it's not a great situation to be in. It's only between 6 and 10 orbits. Once you're between 1 and 6, any and all flexibility is kind of gone, and you're in a bit of an all-in or fold type mode. Um, you want to be the first guy in the pot a lot of times. You want to be expecting to get called a lot of times when you go all in over the top. Um, but you know you still want to be aggressive and uh, trying to take pots down. Note that the theme here a lot of times is aggression. It's just your level of aggression and the spot where you're selecting. Um, as far as M less than or equal to 1, there really is no spot to select. You're looking for what you think would be the best decision, the best spot to get money in. Um, you don't really have an opportunity to wait even one orbit, right? This is you can only survive one round. Um, so we'll go through uh, another example when we can kind of pick our strategy based on our hand. We're going to use M to help us out here. Uh, we've got Ace Nine off um, in the hijack, 
and it's 300, 600. We've got 4,000 uh, 4, chips, and there's 415 Andes in the middle. So let's go ahead and calculate our M. Uh, we see it's it's 4,050 and then 1,350. Uh, so it's a nice even M of 3. Obviously, this is a calculated example. A big reason why I like uh, this spot in particular uh, as, as we, we pit back here is I think this is a spot where a lot of players w might want to come in for just a small raise. But even if I make it 1,800, I'm essentially committing myself to the pot. So we are really in an all in or fold situation given our M because we can't survive that much. Even though we have six or seven big blinds, um, the fact that there's so much dead money in the middle uh, it's important that we just go ahead and pick it up. The next thing I want to talk about is deviation, though. Uh, it, it, these are very rough guidelines. If you're a very beginner poker player, uh, these will really help you. Even if you're experienced, these will help keep you in check and make sure you're not doing things out of the ordinary. Uh, I, I personally pick a few spots to deviate from it, and we're going to pick one right now, actually with the same exact hand. Um, here, uh, Hero's got 7425 chips and the blinds are 300, 600. Um, we've got 12 big bets. Um, our M though is just 5.5, which puts us in that uh, second or the second to worst zone um, where we, we think we're supposed to just be raising or going all in. That being said, um, 